Who here hasn't been to space? Why? <laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, one. Um, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. I said I was going to dive into this. And this is where Jeff Loveness, who is writing um, Kang Dynasty and writing Quantumania, has come in. And he has had some things to say about, excuse me, about how the new iteration of the Avengers, I'm sorry, this new this new Avengers team and how they're going to be thrown into the fire in Kang Dynasty. It goes on to say, this is coming from the direct that says, Avengers, the Kang Dynasty might be years ahead, but head scribe Jeff Loveness is already teasing the involvement of new MCU heroes introduced in Phase 4. Avengers 5 is expected to have a massive cast considering the Earth's mightiest heroes will be up against Kang the Conqueror. Still, it is unknown which specific characters will help in this fight. I'll stop there just for a second. One thing that we do know, we do know that that Suri is going to be leading one of the leaders of the Avengers. We also know that Shang-Chi is going to be one of the leaders of the Avengers. And we also know that Sam Wilson's Captain America is going to be one of the leaders of the Avengers. We talked about this some uh, weeks ago when we discussed who some of the new leaders were going to be for the Avengers. And that wasn't something that, you know, we speculated. That was something that we put, that was being talked about. It was a in an article. It was rumored that, well, I don't even think it was rumored at that time. I think it was one of the things that it was solidified that those three would be the three leading members of the newly formed Avengers team. And we also know that in Captain America New World Order, just from the leaks and things that we've seen, that Sam is going to be assembling a new Avengers team. So with all of the elements that are going already going on in uh, Captain America New World Order, that's one of the other elements that's a part of it that he is going to be establishing that new Avengers team. But the article then goes on to say, uh, a past rumor revealed that Phase 4 heroes like Sam... Oh, well, there we are. <laughs> I didn't even know that, okay? A past rumor revealed that Phase 4 heroes like Sam Wilson, Captain America, and Shuri's Black Panther... I'm sorry, Sam Wilson's Captain America and Shuri's Black Panther would appear while Shang-Chi star Simu Lee seemingly confirmed his involvement when he expressed excitement about working with Avengers 5 director Destin Daniel Creighton. Again, and I for yes, I even forget that Destin Daniel Creighton is directing Kang Dynasty. He is also going to be directing obviously Shang-Chi 2. Shang-Chi 2 is going to, I'm assuming, and not just assuming, I feel like common sense would tell us that Shang-Chi 2 is going to play directly into Kang Dynasty, especially if Dustin Daniel Creighton is directing it and it is coming before Kang Dynasty. And I think it's coming toward the end of... Um, I think it's going to be coming before the end of Phase... Toward the end of Phase 5... Actually, don't, 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 don't quote me on that one. I'm not, I have to check the dates on Shang-Chi 2 again. But uh, we do know that Dustin Daniel Creighton is involved in on both of those as directors. So I'm assuming the whatever events happen in Shang-Chi uh, 2 will play into Avengers 5. Then they go on to say, now the movie, now the movie's writer shared what to expect about these heroes inclusion in avengers 5 speaking with sfx magazine via game raiders ant-man and the wasp quantum mania and avengers 5 king dynasty writer jeff loveness talked about phase 4 phase 4's news char new characters and how they will be involved in the upcoming crossover flick loveness first shared his thoughts about phase 4 indicating that it paved the way for the birth of new characters as i'm building the avengers i want it to feel like a generational struggle phase 4 felt like the birth of new characters you're giving everyone a little bit of breath um your then he goes on to say your broadening out the universe you have fun disney plus shows that are elevating characters and he, then it says the avengers 5 scribe then noted that the movie would throw these characters into the fire meaning that they will be involved in the battle against kang the conqueror and then he goes on to say and now i think it's time to put the pedal to the gas again uh, definitely uh and really take all these new characters that we like and throw them into the fire loveness then hyped up kang's arrival describing him as almost the uh, describing him as almost this infinite thanos um then he says kang is a top tier a-list avenger villain what do you do when you feel you're not enough against that how do you step up to face the challenge of this generation who is thanos on an expo exponential level he's almost this infinite thanos 
Then it goes on to say, in a separate interview with Empire, Ant-Man 3 director Peyton Reed teased how Quantumania will set up Avengers 5. Nothing that the threequel writer is... Are noting that the threequel writer is writing the Kang Di- writing the Kang Dynasty as well, while also saying that there are big things in store. I think it I think it has a profound impact on the MCU. Jeff Loveness, who wrote this movie, is writing the Kang Dynasty as well. So there's been a lot of discussion about the impact that this appearance of Kang the Conqueror that this appearance of Kang the Conqueror. Uh, that this how did they write this about this impact that this appearance of king the conqueror makes uh okay there are big things in store then it goes on to say which phase four heroes will assemble in avengers 5 while avengers the king dynasty writer jeff loveness will have a huge responsibility in juggling all of the heroes that will be involved in the movie his latest remarks indicate that he has a clear idea of how they will be incorporated in the story this is important considering loveness has a uh, task of integrating the new phase four heroes with the already established characters like dr strange and captain marvel this is on top of expanding the role of jonathan majors kang the conqueror similar to how avengers infinity war pushed thanos into the forefront loveness's comments about throwing the phase four heroes into the fire suggest that they will immediately be involved in the fight forcing the avengers to assemble unexpectedly against kang Doing this could be a disadvantage for the team, and Kang may have uh, orchestrated it to gain the upper hand. Whatever the case, Phase Four's Phase Four's new characters are expected to play a pivotal role to save the multiverse. Uh, Avengers: Kang Dynasty will premiere in theaters May second, twenty twenty-five. Now, the last part there that they said about um, you know getting thrown into the fire and things like that as far as the team having to unexpectedly assemble against Kang we do know just from leaks and things that Kang is going to win obviously in Kang Dynasty um, he's going to be he's going to come out on top the Avengers will lose and um, though after that the story will then progress into Secret Wars now the other thing that they mention here also is that uh, the how quantum mania is going to set up avengers 5 and we've actually talked about that as well too peyton reed has talked about how he doesn't want his this ant-man iteration to just be another small film within the mcu he wants it to have ramifications he wants it to be a big blockbuster type uh film that's going to actually progress the uh, progress the further mythology of the mcu and it's actually going to do that we know just from leaks and things that we've talked about from listening to peyton reed from listening to jeff loveness from listening to paul rudd and others involved in quantum mania speak that quantum mania the events in this film are going to play directly into king dynasty we also know that again take this with a grain of salt but if the rumors are to be believed that the fantastic four are going to be trapped in the quantum realm toward the end of the film that we see them in a post credit scene they've been there the entire time blah 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 captured by kang um that they are then going to appear in kang dynasty with hope 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 and scott who are going to be left in the quantum realm at the end of the film um so if that is to be believed which paul rudd did recently which we're going to be talking about on thursday but paul rudd did recently come out and say something about cameos uh major cameos being in quantum mania and what those major cameos could be i'm not sure i'm still thinking the fantastic four but again that is a rumor that we have to take with a massive grain of salt at the moment but as far as um as far as what is going to be going on with Kang Dynasty and how it does, it is very, or how Quantum Mania is pivotal to the events of Kang Dynasty. And we know that the new Avengers team is going to be getting assembled within New World Order. All of these pieces are starting to come together that are going to slowly be getting us to Kang Dynasty, slowly be getting us to getting to see that version of Kang that is supposed to decimate the Avengers that is going to bring the Avengers to their knees and once again I have said many many times when we talk about Kang we have to see that that is something we need to see but I I've even said we need to see it before Kang Dynasty we need to be seeing Kang take out Avengers in different universes before Kang Dynasty and I will say this about Kang too you guys have heard me talk about Victor Timely and how Victor Timely was supposed to be rumored at the time I hadn't heard anything about it for a while but rumored rumored uh, to be coming into Loki season two as one of those variants. Well, 
today I finally heard something about Victor Timely. I hadn't heard anything about Victor Timely in months, but Victor Timely is still on the table for Loki season two. So we still should be seeing that version of Kang in Loki season two, along with other variants of Kang. Uh, and that is per uh, Daniel RPK when talking about many different uh, variants of Kang being in Loki season two. But as far as Avengers five goes, as far as the lineup, as I we talked when we talked about Suri, Shang-Chi, and Sam being a part uh, or leading this team, I, again, your mileage may vary. And I'm not being negative here. I, I'm still I'm still hopeful, but I'm going to call a spade a spade. This team is not, this team's not impressive to me. This this roster right now, those three leading those three leading members outside of Shang-Chi and even somewhat with Shang-Chi, I'm not really impressed. Uh Sam is a powerless man leading a super leading a uh, a team of super powered individuals. Make that make sense for me. Uh, Suri got her ass beat by Namor, um, and she was only the Panther for twenty minutes. Um, and Shang Chi again, with the exception of Shang Chi, I really don't. Those those three leading members. Ah, and again, with the roster that's following behind it, now we talked about a roster once before. We talked about how the Fantastic Four are going to be helping. We talked about how the Eternals are going to be there. We've talked about how the X-Men, the Fox X-Men, if the rumors are true, are going to be involved. We've talked about how you've got um, some members of the Thunderbolts that may be involved. Obviously, Yelena being involved. We, I don't know how you involve Moon Knight in this type of team. I'm sure you could, but I feel like that then tends to maybe get messy. Like... How do you have Moon Knight a part of this? Like, is Conchu just going to be hanging out in the battle? Like, uh, go for his windpipe. Cut cut King's throat. Like, how does that work, bro? Like, how the fuck do you have Conchu? Just, I don't know. But, you know, other members, you know, we've heard about uh, Andrew Garfield uh, and Tom McGuire making their return for King Dynasty and Secret Wars, you know, which obviously would mean Tom Holland would be there. So we'll have a Spider-Man there. Um, she Hulk, I'm sure, will be a part. If if Savage Hulk does come back and he's no longer, you know, wearing those flannel fucking shirts and and passing out tacos to the team, then maybe Savage Hulk is is going to be a part of that team, and maybe Scar even. So, I mean, the roster, the list of things, maybe even Sentry, the list of things that they could do with some of the people getting brought into the MCU, the roster could definitely be one of those rosters that makes us say, okay, that's an actually that's actually a good roster. But where we currently are, what we currently know, I'm I'm not there with being able to say that right now. But you may be there and your mileage may vary. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking about what Jeff Loveness had to say about uh, the Avengers, Avengers 5, and some of the things that uh, are going to be going on there as far as like the team and, and um, um, with Kang and building this team um, and everything like that and how and how quantum mania which is something we already knew was going to tie directly and and be the the catalyst into Kang dynasty but let me know all those things down below in the comments